Hello and welcome to this video is Leonard here from DataLearner.com and in this video tutorial I'm going to make it very short and simple and it's going to be about how to you know implement the signals that I send whenever you get them. So if I go on to my telegram group here and you see the signals that we get here this is how it comes we have the signals and then we have the instrument which is in this case the repo will be XRP USDT and then the buy, uh, the other type will be buy limit, the entering price, the stop loss price. The stop is always top loss and then the target is always a take profit. So this is what we are going to implement. All you just need to do is, I use the OKS platform and a few reasons why I use OKS is that it is easier, they charge low fee and I can navigate through my app whenever I want to place a trade without any complications. And if you want to sign up for an OKS account, link will be in the video description and you will enjoy using OKS. So all you just need to do, and moreover, if you want to be part of the group where you receive free signals daily to trade crypto, then the link will equally be in the video description to join the Telegram group. Um, because this is a essence of me making this video. There are some persons who don't know how to trade, but I want to make profit from the crypto trading using signals. So how to apply them first? is the pair we have the instrument as xrp usdt which is what we are going to select if i go back to the trading account here um here at the top here where we have the btc usdt that is where we are going to select the xrp so you go ahead and click on it and then when you click on it you want to now the signal that i send out are best traded as fissures or perpetual so you can trade it with fissures or perpetual that um, is the basic of what I said that that is why it has take profit, it has top loss, and so on and so on. So it is best traded as perpetual or uh, or features. So first, I want to go ahead and type in here the XRP, which is what we are going to trade. So XRP, and then if I go to the perpetual tab here, I'll go ahead and select this XRP here. And once I select that, the next thing I want to select is the isolated. If yours is on cross, please change it to isolated. The option, the trading option here, if it is on cross, change it to isolated. And then the next one is the other type. So in this case, we have buy limit. So we come back here to the option here and we say we select here. Once you click on the other type here, you have all of these four different other types that OKS offer. So you have the limit order, you have the advanced limit order, and then you have the market order and the stop order. So when I send out the signals, uh, when, when you get signals and the signals say buy limit or sell limit, use the limit order. When it says instant execution, use the market order. And then when it says buy stop or sell stop, use the stop order. Please take note again. When I send that signals and the signal says buy limit, use the limit order. When it says instant execution, use the market order. And then when it says stop order, stop limit or buy stop or uh, sell stop, use the stop order. I hope that is clear enough. So in this case, what we have here on the Telegram group is buy limit. So what we are going to use here, your answer are as good as mine. So what we are going to use here is the limit order. So I'll go ahead and select limit order. And when I select limit order, the next thing is to set your leverage. I always advise to be on the safe side. Always um, go with from 1x to 10x. At most, you can go 20x. Please be careful with the amount of leverage you use so that you don't risk everything on your account. Once you select the leverage, go ahead and click on confirm. The next thing now is the entering price. So the entering price is going to be our target price here. Well, it says uh, 0 0.8950. And then the stop is 5 seven zero zero and then we take profit at uh, one point zero five hundred so if i come here I come back here to the trading tab i'll go ahead the entry price is zero point eight nine five zero that is um the price and then the amount i can go ahead and use hundred percent of my account don't use hundred percent of your account balance please always use either 10 percent 20 percent or whatever and if i have made a detailed step-by-step -step video on how to tweak the settings of the oks platform um, and start following up i just want to do this to, for you to have a, a glimpse of how to implement these trading signals so that even those of you who are taking the course learning how to trade you can start implementing these signals and um, in as much as you have a verified oks account and you, you have funds in it you can start implementing these signals and start making gain from it so if I come in here and type either 100 um, 
XRP, you see at the top there, it shows you the amount equivalent in USDT. But if you want to get the settings of all of this, the detailed step-by-step -step video um, will be what you will go and see. The link will be in this video description as well. So all I need to do, you can use 10%, you can use 20%. In this case, 20% of your account balance, but I just go ahead and use 100%. And once I do that, I'll go ahead and click on buy. And somebody will ask, where do you put the stop loss and take profit? After you click on buy, if it is buy limit or, or you click on sell, if it is sell uh, limit, then the next thing will be where you will put the take profit. Once this dialog box pops up, you go ahead and put your take profit and stop loss. So here, uh, I'll go ahead and click on this arrow and it will give me a drop down of where to take profit and stop loss. So here we'll have take profit, stop loss. So the take profit here will be uh, $1, um, 0, 0.0 stuff. 059 i can't really say then the stop loss is you got you go you you go ahead and set your stop loss somewhere around here where it says 0 0.7689 so once you finish this you go ahead and click on confirm if you don't want to put stop loss or take profit you just uncheck it here and uncheck this here and that will go on but if you want to put the stop loss and take profit as it is shown there you go ahead and check this and after that you click on confirm and um it's saying insufficient balance i guess i'm using the what is not supposed and what i'm not supposed to use so uh, let me try that again click on confirm and then the order will be placed so once the order is placed you will see it because it is a buy limit the price is either higher than the current price in the market or it is lower than the current price in the market so that is what the limit order is and that is why we specify the amount we want to enter with but if it is instant execution it means you are entering with the market price if it is um is a buy stop or a stop order it means you are equally specifying a price that is either higher or lower so you are going to equally specify a price that is equally higher or lower in which case your orders whenever you place them your orders will be showing up here where you have where it says open order so when you have open orders there this is where your order will be showing up here let me just um, put that whatever order you draw will be showing up here if it is buy stop or sell stop or buy limit or um, sell limit it should be showing up at the open order and then when this order is triggered when the order is triggered it will be showing up here at the position so when i say the expiration time for this the, the the order has expired that you should go ahead and delete it whenever you get um, a message to delete an order it means you have to come in here to the open order and when you come in here to the open order you will see that it is checked here whether it is the limit or buy or market this is where you want to come because there are other open orders here if i scroll somewhere here we have advanced limit, we have stop, and so on. These are all open orders. If I come down to, let me scroll to the right, to the left, and click on stop order, you will see there are other uh, orders there. You see triggers, and then you see another orders, and so on. Limit order, advanced limit, and the rest. But you want to come to the market and limit order, and look for that trade that I said you should cancel or delete. When I say cancel or delete, it means you have to come in here. And then this SRP that is pending, you just go ahead and click on cancel to cancel that particular order. Then if it is in position already, you will see if you are in profit, it will be showing up here. It will be showing up here. If you are in, in losses, it will be showing minus and it will be showing in red or thereabout. So when you want to close this order in profit, if it doesn't hit the take profit level and you want to close it in profit, just scroll down here and click on close. You can either go ahead and click on close or you click on mkt close all and this will close this and in this case we are going to make 45 usdt if we close this order then if you want to adjust your margins here if you want to adjust your margin this is where the margin is this is your margin right now i'm, I'm actually risking 20 usdt to trade this market if i want to add to that to keep my position open let's say the price is uh, the market is going against me and I don't want to be liquidated. I will be liquidated in this uh, current trade at $38,770. So this is where I'll be liquidated. That means if Bitcoin price goes down to 
currently the price is at 40 okay we are at, at the uh, srp actually the current price now is at 45,000. so if it goes down to 38 i'll be liquidated but if i don't want to be liquidated at the 38 if i go ahead and click on margin here if i click on margin it means i can add money to the 20 usdt that i have here and then this margin take note of this margin here this margin would definitely um go down more so if i come in here and click on margin and um, i don't have money okay i think i still have let's say i want to add 10 percent to that margin i click on confirm now 10 percent has been added the margin has increased from just 20 dollars as you can see here it has increased from 20 dollars to 5494 so right now i don't have any liquidation that means my account is safe now i don't have wherever my account will be liquidated so my account is very safe now no liquidation that is set that is how you add to the margins you have already and then if you want to set take profit and stop loss with a trade that is already already running if you want to start adjusting your take profit and stop loss this is where you do that so you go ahead and click on this buy stop if i go ahead and click on the the stop order here just go ahead and click on it on the stop order you can now start adjusting your take profit and your stop loss so if i want to take profit let's say at fifty thousand and then i want to set stop loss at 29 or twenty thousand, for instance so you go ahead and specify that and once you specify that you will now come down here and say okay the amount should be 100 percent. that means it will close the entire trade and you'll be in profit or you it, it will be in losses and you leave the market if it is 50 percent, it means 50 percent of the funds you have will be closed with and it takes 50 percent uh, profit while you are still in the trade if it is 20 percent, you are going to take 20 percent profit while you are still in the trade so all you need uh, whatever the options you have here you go ahead and click on it and click ok and that will be placed now this top order that i just placed now will equally be at the open order now you have three orders so if i will say close a trade or cancel this trade that the trade has expired if you have pending trade that are here and i say cancel it all you just need or delete it all you just need to do is to come in here and click on cancel this is cancel here so you just go ahead and click on cancel let me go just go ahead and do that and click on this trade and cancel order and the order has been cancelled successfully but what you will notice here is that we still have some open orders here there are some open orders here where is this open orders so that is what we want to do so i'll go ahead and i uncheck this current where it says um this current instrument that is checked here so i'll go ahead and uncheck that just go ahead and uncheck it and then when i uncheck it you want to scroll down to the left and come in here to stop order when you come to stop order the take profit and stop loss that i set here this take profit and stop um, loss that i set here will be on your stop order so whenever you are seeing open order and it is showing number two or three or whatever open order that is showing here and you are coming here you are not seeing anything make sure that you screw not on the limit order on the limit and market not on the advance not on the stop but on the stop order not on the trigger but on the stop order so when you come in here to the stop order click on the stop order you will see all of them here so if i go ahead and cancel all of this and cancel them you will see that the open order here is now showing zero so basically that is all i need to show you in this video i don't intend to make this video too long but i hope you watch this video again and again and understand everything that i've explained here and if you like the video give it a thumbs up if this is your first time to my channel please consider subscribing that way you encourage me to make more videos like this and if there is anything you don't get clearly always use the comment section and i will definitely answer those questions or attend to your question myself so that is it for this video if you want oks account the link will be in the video description to sign up if you want to join the trading group on telegram link will be in the video description to actually join the group and if you want to learn step by step on how to trade crypto and make profit then link to purchase a course that is currently going with that will update every day and have zoom meetings to train people on is equally in the video description to go um, subscribe for that and we'll see you when you subscribe for that you actually have access to my vip group where you have more than two signals a day to trade the crypto market so this is it for this video and i'll see you in the next video